Hello fellow Toastmasters, friends and guests. Thank you for tuning into this video where yours truly, Steve McGinnis, is going to teach you some basics about speech preparation and delivery. I want to start off by telling you that what I'm presenting here is nothing new. You could probably search YouTube and the other sites on the video sites on the internet <coughs> and find hundreds if not thousands of videos on how to do this. This is basically going to help me achieve my certification for Advanced uh, Leadership Bronze Award. So I hope you enjoy it nevertheless. And my guess is you've probably never seen a, a video quite like this one. Um, speech organization. I'm going to pick a time frame of five to seven minutes because that's what most Toastmaster speeches are about in that duration. And th that type of speech should, pretty much any type of speech, uh, except for specialty speeches, should have a, a clearly defined introduction body and conclusion. And for a five to seven minute speech, the introduction should probably be no more than 15 to 30 seconds tops. You want it to be brief and grab their attention. Maybe a, a famous quote, or do voice inflections, or if you can carry a tune, something like, here I come to save the day, in the favorite words of Andy Kaufman. But I don't, can't carry a tune, so that's the best, that's the first and last time you'll probably ever hear me sing on YouTube. But something like that just to grab your attention and reel them in. And then give a brief discussion or sentence about what you're going to talk about. So that's your introduction. And once you're done with your introduction, deliver your body. Your body should be no more than two or three main points. And it should last anywhere between four to five minutes tops. If you go beyond that, you're going to exceed the seven minute time limitation. And you might be actually disqualified in a speech contest or some clubs that actually enforce time restrictions. Um, each main topic should have two or three subpoints to expand upon the main topic. And you should also have material to support each subtopic, like a visual aid, or some movements, or gestures, or even a short video. But don't leave these aids up all the time because they do distract from the t times where you're talking and you want the listeners to focus on you and not the visual aid. So use them briefly and sparingly. Your conclusion should be similar to your introduction, only last 15, 30 seconds tops. Basically, in your intro, tell them what you're going to tell them. In your body, deliver what you said you were going to deliver. And in your conclusion, tell them what you just said. Uh, similar to your introduction, your conclusion should have something memorable, like a quote or uh, some voice inflections. Um, and if it's an inspirational video, it should call you to some action or some type of service that you can perform for your group or community. Um, so that's speech preparation in a nutshell. Uh, second part of this video, I'm going to talk about body language, a person's stance. Uh, textbook suggests you should stand comfortably with your feet apart and just uh, try to maintain a, a direct view of your audience or camera. And um, that's your stance. You shouldn't be fixed in your stance the whole video, unless it's maybe your icebreaker speech and you're nervous. Um, but you, you should have flexibility to actually um, going into movement, move from one side of the podium, to the podium to the other. If you're in a speech contest, you really don't want to move too far away or too far forward or backwards, because that can alienate some of the judges. Um, talk about gestures now. These are movements of the head, shoulders, arms, and hands and other body parts. And they are used to sometimes express weight, shape, squares, circles, rectangles, uh, size, direction, or location. If you've watched the Weather Channel often, you can see every minute of the day they're using gestures. Facial expressions. These are important to express your true emotions during your speech. For example, to give a speech about happiness and stand there and not even smile is totally false. Nobody will believe you. Your speech won't be credible. So you want to be your facial expressions to be natural and not too over the edge. Um, something that I learned in my youth that can really mess people up is raising one eyebrow. That is just really creepy and really could alienate your audience. So I don't recommend you ever do that in front of your audience. Eye contact also lends credibility and, credibility and professionalism to your speech. What you want to do is not just glaze over your audience because 
He might think you're kind of messed up or smoking dope or something worse. Maybe a medication. You just want to take short glances at each person in your audience and continue that throughout the speech because then you actually create a one-to-one -one contact with that person and it really adds tremendous value to your speech and grabs their attention and doesn't let them their mind sway to other things while you're speaking to them. So my conclusion, for my conclusion, body movement, stance, gestures, facial expressions should look natural, unrehearsed, and not excessive. Um, but to do this takes learning and practice. Once you go through all the competent communicator speeches, you should be pretty good at all these. It takes time. You're gonna learn these skills over time, and it doesn't happen overnight. And I want to thank my fellow Toastmasters here at Talk It Up Toastmasters for helping me support this, my last and final video here about communicating on video. I don't think I could have ever finished this series without them because I'm just not comfortable on video. I'm not comfortable in front of people to begin with, but thanks to them, I think this is going over pretty well. Here I'm doing a repetitive movement. Someone pointed that out in my last speech, so I will stop doing that. Um, again, we're all here to support each other and, and, and help each other to improve. So the, the real key is try not to be nervous, try to relax, and be happy. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the uh, like button in the lower left of your screen now. And leave comments. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel also down here on our screen so that you can stay tuned and get more videos from Talk It Up Toastmasters. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Thank you.